I love being here. I have my good days, my bad days, but we all do. We're all women. When you have PMS, I have PMS. Not no more per se, but <laughs> we're all miserable together. We're mostly together all the time. I mean, I see the girls more than I see my husband half the time. I was a secretary, but I hated it, looking at the same four walls all day long. I couldn't stand it. I like talking to people, different people. I have your car, you can buy a new car. I work with my sister, as I said, <laughs> for what, 50? It had to be, no, she was 20, so it's 35 years we've been working together. So we traveled through everything together. But she's not my best friend, Shannon is. <laughs> she is my favorite. People actually come to see us and they say, if we quit, they're not coming back. So it's all about me and Wendy. <laughs> Absolutely, I will never retire. My sister's like, you're crazy, dude. We're not doing this when we're 70. I said, you might not be, but I am. I'll be here till I come off. Because if I have to retire, I'll go crazy. I hate domestication, I hate it. I hate cooking, I hate cleaning, I hate it all. I do it, but I hate it. Kicking and screaming, <laughs> I hate it. My husband will say to me, I get to wash done in a couple hours. You take three days. I said, you had any clothes yet? You ain't in the clothes, what's the problem? You still got pants on your ass, so you're good. <laughs> I would say we're like a family here. We also, in that case, we can fight like a family. The next day, we'll just act like nothing happened and bring a Red Bull for lunch. Who knows, you know? Good morning, good morning. The morning crew is very solid. Our morning crew is very solid. We're straight. At night, Sometimes we struggle, like after COVID, nobody wanted to work. So this time of the day, three o'clock, maybe they come, maybe they don't. We're open every day of the year, we do not close. We're open Christmas, we're open every holiday, Thanksgiving, every holiday. Well, since 9-11, actually, it really started getting diff more and more difficult for um, especially the smaller diner operations to stay viable. The age of the, the market for the diner is just simply getting older and older, and it's not really being replaced by their children. When, when I heard that places like this and like the Mayfair and some of the other really, and even the Melrose, were no longer doing 24 hour, and I, I thought, that's it, it's the end of an era. When you are there for a long time and you do have a great wait staff that, that has some experience behind them, then yes, you'd start to develop a wonderful rapport with your clientele. Okay, so you let me your Lots of little things like that that made the, that established that connection that wove itself into the fabric of the neighborhood. And you know, so when you lose the diner, you're gonna lose a lot of that. We see basically the same people every single day. We know them by name, we know about their lives, they know about our lives. It's nice, it's real nice. It's the majority people in this neighborhood. Morel, Ty Coney, you know. Yeah, they're really nice, they're good to us. I have a little lady that comes in, she's the sweetest little thing in the world. And she's got her little cats and I have cats and we'll sit and talk and when her birthday comes or when my birthday comes she'll bring me a present. I give her a present. She brings me in Gatorades all the time and she's real sweet. Real sweet little lady. She doesn't really have a family so we're her family. You're talking to other people and you know people tell you their problems. I said we're like therapists. Um, so when you listen to theirs, yours isn't really that bad. Like the old people don't have anybody, so they'll come in, they'll chat with us, they'll chat with other customers. It'll be like a big family conversation. And they miss that. Some of them will just sit here and have coffee and just talk all day. <laughs>